It is not a question countries against countries, it is a question of security. We have in Austria more than 75,000 not registered persons, and we know that 20,000 irregular migrants crossed Romania. Accession to the Schengen area requires unanimous approval from all existing EU members. And a single no vote, like this one from Austria in 2022, can halt the entire process. But has a breakthrough finally been made? For those that don't know, the Schengen area is like a club where 27 countries, 23 of them from the EU, have agreed to let their citizens travel freely between them. This allows you to hop from one country to another, without the hassle of border checks. But for Romania and Bulgaria, joining this club has been a real roller coaster since they became part of the EU in 2007. In the meeting with the leaders, I had a very strong message on behalf of the European Parliament on the broken promise that was made 11 years ago to Bulgaria and Romania. This needs to be fixed. There is no justifiable reason not to admit Bulgaria and Romania to the Schengen area. Remarkably, despite the European Parliament endorsing accession over a decade ago, there has been very little progress in this area. It all started in 2011, where six countries denied Romania and Bulgaria entry, worried about issues like corruption and organized crime. Then in 2013, Germany blocked the process again, stressing the importance of the rule of law. Things got even trickier with a 2015 migration crisis, which put Schengen's border control to the test and further delayed Romania and Bulgaria's entry. Jump to 2022, and just when things were looking up, the Netherlands and Austria hit the veto button. Austria in particular was concerned about a rise in asylum seekers coming through the Western Balkans and wasn't ready for more Schengen expansion. But finally, in December 2023, some good news arrived. Austria agreed to a compromise, and by March 2024, Romania and Bulgaria will join Schengen. Well, sort of. They will enjoy borderless travel for air and sea routes, an arrangement referred to as Air Schengen. But land travel will remain on hold for now. For Romania and Bulgaria, it's definitely a step in the right direction. But let's face it, it's not great. Most of the hustle and bustle happens on land, where the borders are still up and running. It is also a drain on the economy, estimated to cost Romania 10 billion euros annually. So if anyone asks why, Romania has a very thriving automotive uh, industrial sector, but not for assembling cars. All the assembly plants stop at the Hungarian border. Why do they do that? Because for car assembly plants, you need ready to install production lines for which you have to have very predictable transport times. Well, you can't have predictable transport times when the lorry is spent two days at the border. Negotiations will resume in 2024, and with Austria as the last holdout, Romania and Bulgaria might finally achieve full Schengen accession. Let me know what you think, and if you like this type of quick and simple content, hit that subscribe button and join our channel today for your regular dose of EU Flash.